Yo, what's up? It's the Dark Horse of Doom. Welcome. I've reconstructed our Kaja Gradle build because obviously I needed someone to be able to take down the WAR or any kind of counterplay. I could potentially... Yeah, the main card we want to try and pull in our stat in hand is the Ghost Reaper of Winter Berries because if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, quick effect, you can discard this card, reveal one card in your extra deck, then look at your opponent's extra deck, also banish all cards in their extra deck with the same name as that reveal card. I feel like this card is the easiest way of getting rid of Noir, but it's obviously benefiting to pull it. Um, I've also combined it with the Clockwork Knight with our Cyber Dragons, also special summoning, obviously, Jizakuri as well. If I need to kind of clear the field a bit. We have interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Which works. We have Super Poly. Which is obviously beneficial. If we can make a solid play. Um, I'm missing two cards though. And that's Cool By The Grave. I wanted to try to keep this at a 40 card build. But we'll add two Cool Buyers as well. Just in case they have a Maxi. Or some sort of kind of thing. Playoff. I've also gone with Sword Soul. Uh, technically speaking. I don't think that's the threat. I think Chiaxo is probably... Uh, I don't know how it's pronounced. Itchy. I don't know how it's spelled. To be fair, I'm probably smart of writing off Sword Soul. I don't know why I'm trying to make it more complicated than it needs to be. Okay, yeah, this is the one. I haven't got it crafted yet, so maybe in the future we craft it for the time being. To be honest, it probably would lock out the play if you do go with Chiaxo anyway. Okay. It depends on how you really want to play your build, but um, yeah. We will go with this for the time being. The only problem is you could still, obviously, you could probably add Baron in there if need be. Um, personally, we don't massively need that extra deck, like, mass massively. Um, we'll add Baron as well, just in case. Right, let's save. Back out. All right, this is a promotion duel. Obviously, like I said before, we're not too worried about getting into ranked. I think when I do these recordings, I'm not going to care too much about the ranking. But when we live stream, we might get a bit more, you know, driven by it. Okay, so we're probably going to end up going second. That's fine. I think if we can start off with the turn them all to machines, special summon Cyber Dragon, and make up some sort of play. And we could be... I don't know what to go off. I don't even know what to say to this. I run three... Uh, this is the thing that drives me insane. I run three maxis. And I don't ever pull one. And now I'll pull it. Cobra. Okay. Personally. I want to know what deck they're running. But having two evenlies in hand isn't going to. Hmm. I could in theory go with. I'm going to activate Gradle Impact. I'll play this card face down. I'll drop down skill drain. I've got a feeling Happy Feather's probably going to hit, if I'm being honest. Um, and I'll play the... It's fine. I'm going to resolve the Gradle Impact, which will grant me a Gradle. We're going to go with Alligator, because then that way we can destroy Alligator and tag their monster. It depends, because the main thing is, skill drain's there to lock out. If the Happy Feather does hit, does hit which it probably will, because that's my kind of luck in Master Duel, then it's going to screw us. Oh, you're running that deck. Okay. Um, now we'll let it run. And you got Pendulum. Oof. You can discard a card, special someone's symph Symphonic Warrior. Okay. If this is the deck I think it is... Okay. Not bad. It's not the worst, but also it's not the best. Okay, leading into... Alright, I'm going to skill drain here. Because I want to negate you. I should have... I could have skill drain... No way. Red reboot. Mate, who even has that in that? Like, I, I know everyone has it in their deck, but I've never actually ever had it against used against me. Set the designated card from the deck to the field. Yes. That's fine. Well played. When you put that first in the get version, and if you do, set that card face down. Then they can set one other trap directly from their deck. For the rest of this turn, I've resolved your opponent can activate trap cards. You can activate this card by paying 
from your hand by paying high for life points. Solid play, no denying it. Um, what would benefit me is if this was Eagle, because if this was Eagle... But yeah, so he's gone into Beyond the Pendulum, adding a Pendulum pad. I'm just going to see if my mark was working, because for some reason I thought it was muted. Okay. This is good, because even if my field does clear, I can still go evenly. But I don't think we'll die. But then again, I could be wrong. So he'll set the Pendulum scale 0 through to 7. Special summon, there's only one there. But then technically, are you once per turn? After you normal special summon this card, you can normal summon one monster during your main phase. In addition, okay. The pendulum scale. Bring that out. Bring out. Okay. Now you can do an extra normal sub. Oh no, that's bad. Oh, well played. In well played, indeed. I completely forgot Beyond the Pendulum has the destruction effect as well. The normal summon. Into Draco. Is that Draco? Yeah, Draco Slayer. You can tag one pendulum once for the field of one card and the pendulum will destroy it. If you do shuffle one card. Oh, well played. Yo, my man's locking in for a direct damage and kill me. I have nothing to protect myself here, but well played. So now this is special summon you can add a field spell. Was it like Dragon Ravine or something? Interesting. Kyoto Waterfront. You have piqued my interest. Okay, into a Link Summon. I didn't realize how. Oh, it was into an XZ for Merry Maker. Okay, it's kind of special. You can send more Springers Monster from your deck to the grave. Into Gigantic Champion Saga. So, isn't he going for that? Doesn't this increase its attack by like shed loads? Okay, where well, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. See, if this was Eagle, this would have been great. I think we're in trouble. Because, yeah, we're dead, man. We are gonna die. Bro ski, mate. We need an Aburu. What the hell? Uh, entity. So technically speaking, you could probably link off again, which you have done. Activate the effect, destroy. I'm a little annoyed though, but also not annoyed. Well played. He went for the spell card. Unless he was anxious, thinking it might have been Eagle face down. But then Sarah Yuja allows him to pick up four. Oh no, he didn't even get that effect off. Okay. Well played. Wait, hold up. You special summon a Kaju to your field? Bro. I'm so confused to this play. Okay, what does that bring out? Um, ABC Dragon Buster. But then can't you discard to destroy? Oh, you banish. <gasps> oh my god, well played. Oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah, we're dead. Well played, man. Well played. I'm a little... Ah! It's annoying that that red reboot was in hand. But yeah, it's the first time I've actually experienced it being used against me. Because I don't really run trap builds. But... Well played. It, it was interesting to see him special summon the Kaiju to his own field, though. And then also go into the ABC Dragon Buster. But solid play. Solid play. Alright. Let's do this. Bro, I, I... Why is this deck not pulling at an even rate, man? These are all at two. I don't really understand how I'm not pulling anything that's run at three. Um, although, to be honest, we've answered this question many times in the past before. Runic. Okay. 
Uh, I prefer this will come in handy, but also the Kaiju would definitely come in handy because we can Kaiju is runic and then basically pop all spell and traps, but you can still. Seriously. Okay, no worries. Also, I have an interrupt to Kaiju Slumber, so really, I probably could just kick things off with that. But the only thing is. Hmm, we'll see. It's a shame I didn't get a Gradle, because if I had a Gradle, it at least would have been ha well worth it, you know what I mean? Play like three face down, and then that'd be great. Okay, and one more. One more. One more. Thank you. Alright, okay. I definitely think it's going to special summon, but hopefully that Ash will come in handy. It's embarrassing that I don't have one card to play off of. Stupid. You can activate spell card from hand, special summon a runic. Or is he just disconnected? I think it's just. Oh, there we go. Special summon one runic. That's where it becomes a little annoying because now its effect's going to resolve, but at least I can get a kaiju out on the field. Um, but the fountain's still in play. Oh, there we go. That clears all them up. Oh, you could just play off your effect, can't you? Yeah. Which basically locks me out, so my whole play was bloody waste of time. I've got nothing. I really have nothing. There's not even... The worst part is I don't have nothing to really benefit here. I just don't get... I spoke about in the last video how my picking up luck was back to being good. Who am I kidding? It's wrong. It's bad. Um, <laughs> problem is, I would have... Need, would it, yeah. I wouldn't even have been able to force it out to be activated. Even if... You can special summon a runic, which is obvious play anyway. I'm just trying to think of an actual way I can make this work, because obviously with the runic coming out, he'll be able to add the runic fountain from... Okay. Right, that's fine. I could. <sighs> the question is, is whether or not he has another root. I'm going to ash here. I, I can't know for sure. I'm assuming he probably would. But also, either way, he's still going to benefit off the next turn anyway. So at least if I interrupt it now... He may be forced to activate another card. I don't know why Happy Feather Duster, with all the decks we've got, like Labyrinth, Runic, like many Spell and Trap builds and Floodgate and shit like that, I don't know why Happy Feather Duster isn't put to at least two. Okay, so I pulled the card that helps with the extra deck, but we're not playing against Pearly or anything, so it doesn't actually benefit me here. I have a choice now. I'm going to Kaiju to Special Summon, get rid of you. Yeah. No point. I think I must be the one duelist that's had enough of Max E. I don't care about the opponent using it. I'm just tired of trying to use it. Because it never benefits me. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Hmm. I might have to re-add Pot of Extravagance back into this build just to give me the extra pickup. Uh, we'll proceed to the battle phase. What do I have to go into? I don't even remember. 
Bruh, why is Verte not in here when I run Super Poly? Bruh, I'm a psychopath. What have we got? Phoenix. Phoenix might be my go-to then. But it depends, because it really comes down to whether he activates a quick play here now or not. Um, so we have destroyed, but he does have a choice of whether to activate something. The only thing I want to do... It's, it's risky. I'm going to go defense mode. I'm not going to go... Yeah, I'm not going to go unicorn. Uh, Phoenix. Yeah, I definitely should implement some extra cards into this. Maybe Verte, Pot of Extravagance, which I originally had, but I took out. Um, we don't really use the extra deck much. It's just there if need be, especially with Cyber Dragon and obviously adding the spell card. But we run those spell cards at three. We run Maxi at three. I just don't know where they are, mate. I really don't. But we need draw power. I might have to run a lore as well. Add a couple of more extra darks just in case. But it's just trying to find the balance. The thing is, if this guy was able to pull a runic quick play spell, he can benefit off this now because he can activate and then pick up three brand new cards, which is... It puts me in the doghouse, really. There we go. Tag on one special one once you put it destroyed. Yep, that's annoying. And then you can activate this now, target three, and then pick up three brand new cards. Bro, seriously? Clockwork Knight is actually out of the picture. Thanks. At least we still have a monster on the field, that's the main thing. Notoria. I do not miss Notoria at all. Mate, Notoria Runic is toxic of toxic. Especially when you start getting out the bloody, um, what's it called? Sunflower and, I can't remember what the other one's called. I don't know. Sunflower's the annoying because basically you contribute Notoria and negate the activation if you do destroy it. So, yeah. Uh... And now it becomes a recycling play. And they send Scarab, don't they? The Scarab? Oh, whatever the bloody hell it's called. Where is it? The, uh, Beetle. Is it Beetle? Okay, clearly I don't know what I'm doing with Notoria, but yeah. So they sent the trap, and now you can add a Notoria card from your deck to your hand. The good thing is he can't attack, so it does benefit me in a certain way. But... If he brings out the Notoria Lockout Monster, which I think they're probably going to end up doing. I don't run Notoria, but Notoria Beast is the annoying one. So when a spell is activated, you can send the top two cards you don't get the activation. And then, when a monster effect. Okay. There's some flower, so now we're going to probably end up dealing with spell negation and monster effect negation. It's fine because we run Kaiju, but a Gradle would be massively helpful right about now just to be able to make its effect work. So now that goes into Notoria Beast. Yep. Notoria Beast is all set up, ready for those spell card plays. Cricket is now out. We'll have to win this turn here. It's difficult because it's got four. F it's got obviously the runic spell card. It's got four face down. It's got the Notoria Beast for negation to spell. The only benefit I have is the battle phase is skipped due to the runic's effect. Okay. Um.
It, or you can special summon two notorious monsters if your opponent controls a monster with a higher attack on the team. Tell me. Um. You know, obviously, you probably could say that I hate modern Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't hate modern Yu-Gi-Oh in certain ways, but I do hate decks where it's my turn and I have to sit and wait for someone to make more plays in my turn. You know, it's like, in certain duels, you can obviously play up against someone. Like, Ash Maxi is a bit more tolerable, but when people are special summon 42 different monsters in my turn, I, I, I'm trying to think, Tealaments was one of them. You know, but obviously that shit's been hit harder than anything. But yeah. It's just kind of like, bro, can I just hurry up and take my go? Because you have to sit through someone taking their turn. And a, a lot of the time, they it, they take bloody ages. This is a problem now. Because I have no choice but to go Great Alligator. So... We will have to normal summon. Oh no. Now. Oh, they haven't even got it engraved. Normally they special summon Sunflower. But then again. Can you not just. This isn't once per. Oh, here it is. Right, proceed to the battle phase. I attack your monster. And I activate my monster's effect. Target you. I know it probably would have been better to go with Notoria, but he's still going to be able to make all his plays, which is going to be a problem. But I have to get rid of it. The only downfall is he can keep special summoning it back due to Camellia. Camellia. Target one face of monster and the next time it would be destroyed by battle or card if it's not. This is why it becomes such a pain in the ass because now he prevents his monster from being destroyed. Ah. Really? Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't know if I have an out from this. People bore the shit out of me though, man. I'm, I'm going to have to start editing this content down because these turns are just fucking boring. They really are. You know, I don't mind playing, but then it's just like, ugh. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't really have much to go off of it. I could have went Verte, really, but... And then Super polyed into my dragon. I think it's insane that I'm running my dragon. But I don't run Berto. Look, man. I'm still waiting to take my go. Because this guy is taking so long. Hurry the fuck up. I enjoy Master though, I do. As much as I complain, I genuinely do enjoy it, but I also hate sitting around waiting to be able to do something on my own turn. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, even if I activate this, it's going to make no difference because it's just going to clear the field with uh, Notoria Beast. But well played, man. This is... Man, it's even run Kashira as well. That's, that's crazy. But this is what I mean. They need to start actually hitting shit. You know what I mean? With a proper ban list. Because at the minute, the ban lists are absolutely shocking. They hit five cards. Kelbeck didn't even need hitting. Tillamans haven't seen in God knows how long. They're hitting Kelbeck, but like, all these other decks are running rampant. You know what I mean? And it's just like, bro, please, Konami, sort your shit out. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure bringing this to you all. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Obviously, we'll jump into another deck in the next video. Um, I'm going to start editing these down so that way it's just a constant flow because I'm getting fed up of sitting here waiting for my turn. And also, I don't want it to be that you guys are watching and also my attitude and um, charisma as such is so negative in the videos and as duelists you probably understand how frustrating it is when you sit around waiting for your own turn to occur um but yeah thank you guys for coming in thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel take care of yourself see you guys next time peace